Hey guys, what's going on? I'm back for another video of the abandoned cat lady house in Burlington, Ontario. Okay, so those of you who have seen my channel already are most familiar with uh, the replicas that I have done on covering this house. Uh, the replicas that I built. Now, I'm going to gift you guys with a treat on the side. And that's going to be the treat of sketches of what this place, even the property, would have looked like had it been repaired and bought. Now, we all know that the place was completely demolished after the fire back in February, and it's really unfortunate, because I really wish up to this day that it would have been fixed and, and it would still be standing, you know, and, and it could have been, but it's unfortunate that it's gone now. I mean, all that work put into it, you know, all those years of, of working on this place and even reconstructing it a couple of times with the looks and stuff, um, according to some old photos, that it would have been finally gone like that. But, um... Okay, the sketches that I drew are, are pretty darn old, if you ask me. I drew them all the way back in 2014, um, way before I, I even knew I'd have a YouTube channel. But, um, yeah, th these are just these are just uh, photos that I decided to, to give to you guys as a treat, and we're going to get some pretty cool before and after shots here. Um, I want to get uh, I want to get to a couple of photos in a minute, and we'll start with the sketches. Comparison one. Note, this is the entryway that you come into as you first walk in through the front doors. This is it in the sketch, had the place been repaired and all fixed up. As you can see, there are no ceiling tiles on the floor and the roof is prepared, and the, and the bulbs on top are put back in place, and the floors are all clean, sparkling clean, and it looks really nice. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the first part, but that's just the very beginning. Let's go on to the next. Comparison to the front living room on the left side of the house, or you could say the right from the outside. This would be it after the, the fixation and the repairing. It'll look all clean and nice and cozy. You know, most likely what it looked like when it was active back then. Comparison 3. The large living room behind the house with the kitchen in it as well and the unfortunate chandeliers that were stolen right by the big windows. Pretty organized and nice, don't you think? Comparison 4. The back sun porch. Lights hanging up top. Those are what those big white bulbs are, if you're just wondering what they are. You got plants even hanging from the top, too. Very beautiful. Comparison 5. The front of the house, the front doors to the left as you can see, and the awful caving in up front. There are the front doors to the right, very clean all around, and the front steps, and those are the doors. Comparison 6. The garage. Comparison 7. Front. Just, just for a little uh, heads up, the next photo is going to contain no trees or bushes anywhere. And there's the front, without no bushes or trees anywhere. It's completely clean and very beautiful. Comparison eight: the back of the large living room near the garage area to the to the left. As you can see, you got a nice little table area, a little dining area set up to the left. Some cat toys in the back. Some nice trees and bushes set up there, and a computer and a chair for a little office area. Comparison 9. The front of the, or what you would call the huge living room area. This was right before it was demolished. As you can see clearly that the windows are boarded up and everything's torn out and it's ready to go, sadly. Comparison 10. The completely destroyed back sun porch area of the house. So you can see there are lots of beautiful plants and uh, flowers lined up against the windows. Comparison 11, the front entry area. Ladies and gentlemen, the twelfth and final comparison of the abandoned Cat Lady House sketches. We are looking at a street view of the farm and... <laughs> I mean, it is just completely a jungle. But wait until you see the next picture. 
this is the farm completely cleared out and you get a very beautiful view of the house right up on its hill and you got some pairs of trees here and there up on the hills in the corners and the streets right there in the very bottom as you can see and that's what it will look like absolutely beautiful and the skies are beauty blue on this beautiful summer day and that's it for the house I wish it was still here and I wish this could be true believe me well guys I hope you enjoyed have a good night